Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Once again, it's Wednesday night. Our day of open talk. You talk, I talk. We hear one another. And as we hear one another, remember the purpose of open talk, number one, is to bring information to you, to bring ed in education, correction, rebuke, reprove, and all that put together. And the foundation of our talk, of our open talk, is the word of God. That is our common denominator. Whatever we do, whatever we say is based on the word of God or founded on the word of God. That is what has brought us together. Remember? Remember what Jesus said, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Father. Therefore, I pray that in our talk tonight, as we talk with my guest tonight, that you will hear the voice of God in our accent. That in the accent that we speak, you will hear the voice of God. Because God is not hard with the ears. God is hard with the heart. So open up your heart that God may speak into your heart through the words that will come, will come tonight. As you all know, every Wednesday night we come to you and we always have a guest or guests who come to be with us. And uh, uh, last, uh, last, uh, last Wednesday we had a beautiful, beautiful time. And I promised you, even before asking, I promised you that, uh, uh, that, 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 that our guest that time, um, uh, uh, Mrs. Anne Murada, you know in, in Deliverance Church, if your husband is a reverend, you are also, yeah, a, rever pastor. You are also a reverend. <laughs> if he's a pastor, you are also a pastor. Uh -huh. And because you are with us now, for today you are reverend. <laughs> I'm going to be <laughs> <laughs> So I promised you that uh, 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 Pastor Anne Murada would be with us. And sure enough, Sure enough, you can be sure she is with us tonight. Uh, why don't you bring greetings and then uh, you in, reintroduce yourself because you know there are people who are not there last uh, Wednesday mm -hmm. and there are people who have not heard you on radio mm -hmm. or heard you in, in, in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. They have not heard you or some have just heard the name. Okay. But you take some time and introduce yourself yeah. and then we, we, we hit the road before I bring Joyce. Thank you so much, Bishop. Uh, my name is Anne Wajiko. Moratha. And actually it is Moratha. And what you call Moratha. Well, Moratha is people who have given me it's my <laughs> stage name. Uh, professionally, I'm a psychological counselor. I'm a wife, a mother. And as the bishop says, I'm a wife of an Anglican reverend. In the Anglican setup, if you also want to be a pastor, you go again for training and you are ordained on your own. It is not as automatic as <laughs> his church. <laughs> <laughs> so Moratha is the reverend. I am Mrs. Mm -hmm. Moratha. And I want to thank God for giving me an opportunity to serve with the Deliverance Church, the church I've known for many years. And I want to thank God that I've gotten an opportunity. Only that it's giving me a high challenge. Those of you who follow me know that I don't speak English. <laughs> I always speak Kikuyu. I work for a vernacular radio station. <laughs> and anytime I meet Bishop Mark and Mrs., they will make me speak English. They tell me them they are international. They don't want to be close to a region. I'm trying to be like them. But when I am on the other side, I know our followers in the diaspora, I know we have so many following us from the US, from the UK and from Australia. Locally, I am a lot in central Kenya, but again I've realized I'm being followed by other people from other communities and promising you, very soon I'll try to become international like Bishop Mark. <laughs> so professionally, I am a psychological counselor, I talk family. The passion God has given me is the thing that is troubling all of us, me and you included on why we are losing our boy. So this is the campaign I'm not doing. Sometimes I become very unpopular to women with no apologies because I'm a mother of sons and I want us to discuss and get an answer. So all the young mothers who come fighting me, you are welcome, come we fight until we get an answer. <laughs> all the senior mothers who feel one mother say it again, just come on board, put your comments on, um, it is called One Court Television. Put your comment there, tell us what you think about this program Tell us what you think about our topic. Let's hear, because whatever you tell us is not going in vain. We still want to know your feedback. We are not the experts. We want to talk with you to find out what the society is saying about what is happening. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so, so much. Mm. You know, uh, when I was in primary school, mm. there, there was something I, I, I still remember our teacher saying. Mm -hmm. And they said, when you go to Rome, do as you Romans do what the Romans do. do. <laughs> <laughs> so here you speak English. <laughs> 
<laughs> now the Romans here yeah. speak English. Yeah. <laughs> so now since you have come, uh -huh. you, 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 you speak English. Mm -hmm. And then since the Romans here mm -hmm. get their, uh, the, the, the pastor ordained together with the wife, mm -hmm. for today uh -huh. you are and now pastor. I come here, I become a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> So get to know, I'm also addressing you, my reverend, my bishop, get to know. When I'm in the deliverance church, I'm a pastor. When I come, I'm a wife of a pastor. I've been ordained by Bishop Makani. On air. On air. Not on anointing. On air. So when I leave, I come back. Well, thank you. So I, can, I, I want you to be sure you're going to have a super, super time. We are together and as we get together, let me ask you, Joyce, to say jumbo uh, so that we can be able to move together mm -hmm. before we hit the road. Come on, baby. Amen. Praise the Lord and welcome to Open Talk tonight. And I believe you will have a great time listening to this great woman of God. Maybe some of you were not with us last Wednesday. I can assure you we had a powerful, enlightening time. And even today, Anne, we are so grateful you're here with us today. So even in the mix of the humor that uh, Anne is full of, there is still information and there is still advice that she brings. And I pray that you'll be open to hear what she is saying to us. Share this with as many of your friends and relatives. Call them, share the link with them, and let them know we have a great woman of God in the house mm. tonight. We are thank grateful you. to have you. you again. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank, thank you so much. Would you mind telling the, the, the viewers who you are? Just in case some of the things I brought a girl from the, from the market <laughs> in, in, the, in the show. Um, Pastor Joyce, Reverend Joyce Karaoke, an ordained minister with Deliverance Church, and a wife to Bishop Mark, a mother to many, a sister, an auntie, uh, to many, and uh, a friend to many, but above all, loving the Lord and serving the Lord faithfully. Now at least you know I am married mm -hmm. and I have a wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever we are talking is not uh, is not uh, theoretical. Mm. It is real life, real life. Because you see, the challenges that are facing the the family today are so many and they are so real. And if we don't deal with these challenges, we will have crippled families. We will have crippled families. I received lots of text messages. I received lots of phone calls with the people crying here. Somebody telling me my husband has run away. My wife has run away. This has happened. And my children don't want to see me. All those challenges, they are there. We cannot hide ourselves, our heads in the sand like the proverbial ostrich. Therefore, we, brought, we invited uh, uh, Pastor Anne Morada to come and just to participate and talk to us. Mm -hmm. so, it, so she would talk to us so we can see what can we glean out of this talk. What can I get out of this talk that would help my family? And last Wednesday, oh man, I want to say thank you so very much to all of you. So many of you who came in, so many of you who called, so many of you who have, uh, who have written. Your, your, your SMSs, we've received them and we really, really appreciate. Now there are so many that we cannot go through all of them. But maybe Joyce can, can tell us, uh, can read to us some of the, some of the ones that, uh, that, we, that we, we, we received and see if we can do a recap and then we hit the road. All right. So uh, as uh, Pastor Ann was speaking about the boy child and how, you know, women have been empowered and the boy child has been left behind. You brought in uh, some comments and Salome says that we need to go back to families and check how our children are being brought up in our homes. So she says that is something we need to go back to, the upbringing. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know whether you can remember how you were, you were brought up. <laughs> yes, uh, Bishop, as I had told you last time, uh, I think we have a problem in bringing up our children. You see, us, we used to be born very many. Mm. So women had no time of favoritism or trying to be nice to who oh God, all of you had to grow up. Eh. And she had uh, so many stresses, like like she she didn't have time to baby you. You just had to grow. If Bishop you can recap, I always ask myself, how did we grow up? We just grew and find ourselves there. Nobody cared how we are growing. Mm. You remember you could even call your parents. We, we didn't know, as I was telling you the other time, we didn't even know why we were being beaten like every day. 
Mm-hmm. You have been beaten, you cry, you are beaten because of crying. Mm-hmm. They beat you, you don't cry, you are beaten again because you, you, you refuse cry. to cry when you are beaten. We were there and we didn't know what to do. Today you have one son, one daughter, there are two. Their fathers is four, mm-hmm. three. So it's like their upbringing is like, um, it's like uh, us, we used to be, what do you call, Kenya chicken? Yes. But these ones are broilers. <laughs> you see those broilers? Uh, you leave them there, they are just there. Uh, us, we used to be Kenya. Uh, Somebody told me, we used to be us, we grew, we were pasta. But this, these our children are pastors. Uh, because they sit there, they pastor. Uh, but us, the way we grew, we were evangelists. <laughs> we ran Kenya and we agree. So when this person, Salome says we have a problem in the way we are bringing up our children, mm. we need to start there. Mm. We are not making them responsible enough mm. right from childhood to mm. make them understand how life is supposed to be. You see like a Muzungu will bring up a child and give them a chance to be children. Mm-hmm. As we like, like we don't give children a chance to be them. Mm. Like you see our people these days on social media, you see the things people are subjecting children to. Mm. And you almost want to ask yourselves, so what are these children going to become? Mm. You see our parents today, the young parents are making a lot of money, they are in good serving business, and the next thing they do is change their lifestyles. Mm. Go to nightclubs, go to afternoon outings, go hang out with friends and drinking all over. So what do children desire? When I grew up, I want to sit on that table and drink like my father. Mm-hmm. I want to sit on that table and smoke like my mother. Because so they are so you are saying we need to speak to their parents. Yes, and so, speak not only by words, mm-hmm. by even action. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm remembering when I was growing up, mm-hmm. and we were so we were quite a good number, mm-hmm. quite a good number in our in, in our in our home, mm-hmm. and I was by I was a quiet boy. Mm-hmm. I was well, the quiet boy mm-hmm. who sat next to my mom, mm-hmm. and my mother would cook gedheri or whatever is there, and she would uh, serve mm-hmm. serve serve this one negeri yoshio, give this one to so and so so and so so and so. By the time she gets to my brother here, mm-hmm. it's already finished, yes. and say okay, let us now pray, and they would say hey Henry daddy, they used to call me Henry. Mm-hmm. Hey, Henry Daddy. And then she would say, why are you so quiet? Mm-hmm. Okay, bring me up. She gets a plate. Everybody, everybody share, 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 mm-hmm. share, share. Mm-hmm. And they would share and I would end up I would end up getting mm-hmm. get, getting something. Mm-hmm. You, you, you see, although I was her her last boy uh-huh. uh, up and very, next to her, mm-hmm. because of the numbers she would still for, for mm-hmm. forget. She didn't have time to spoil because any. she didn't she didn't exactly yes. she didn't have the time to spoil anyone. Yes. Any one of us. Mm-hmm. Mm. At times it was survival for, for the for the, for the fittest. fittest. And Bishop, you can look up uh, twenty at twenty years. Mm-hmm. We were adults. Yeah. Able to take care of your life. Mm-hmm. Today a whole thirty year old, forty, mm-hmm. is still mm-hmm. in the mother's house. I, rem- I remember and asking for food from the mother. <laughs> and the mother still feeding. I remember the first time I tried to cook Ugali. Mm-hmm. Ugali. Mm-hmm. I don't think I I, I, I I think I was in class one. Mm-hmm. Because my mother has gone to the shamba. Mm-hmm. We have come home. We are hungry. There is nothing. So what do we, what do you do? You do what you see them do. do. Get water, put it in the fire, let the water boil and get the unga mm-hmm. and then put it there. Yes. And I only to discover the unga was not enough. Mm-hmm. So I put it there and it is just like uh, like porridge. Mm-hmm. Then my mother comes and she finds we are I'm struggling there with the cooking. Mm-hmm. I'm cooking ugali mm-hmm. because I'm, I also want them to eat when mm-hmm. they come. Mm-hmm. But she looks at it and she doesn't know what to do. So she's got to get some potatoes, peel some potatoes, boil some potatoes, mm-hmm. put them there so that it could harden. Mm-hmm. And she, she comes up with something ear folder. Mm-hmm. It, 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 is, it is ear folder. <laughs> Pastor <laughs> <laughs> Joyce does not know. Uh, no, no, she, no, she doesn't know no. this, uh, that yet. No, but you know, there's something you said, uh, Anne, mm-hmm. and uh, a friend of mine the other day was just visiting us, mm-hmm. and she's rearing chicken. Mm. And she said something, and you so- talked about the mm. broilers and the, the kenyeji. Mm-hmm. And she made a comment and said, when a chick, when a hen, <laughs> so when a hen mm-hmm. lays the eggs and they hatch, mm-hmm. The the what is the chicks the mm-hmm. chicks which are babied by quote unquote babied by this mother chicken mm-hmm. 
actually don't grow very fast mm -hmm. and they get ill very quickly because the mother will be going there and then she brings the, the diseases to them. So what they do is once the eggs hatch, they take away the mother mm -hmm. from the chicks and the chicks are left on their own. Yes. And those chicks grow very strong because they are left to feed for themselves. Yes. And oh, when you've talked the broilers and the kienyeji, mm -hmm. I just remember that story. Yes. That, that when the mother happens. is all over the kids mm -hmm. or these chicks, it's not good for them. Like now when <laughs> we talk about the three of us, yeah. when we talk even off camera, I can tell we, we, we come from the same upbringing mm -hmm. with Bishop. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, mm. you, 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 you did not face those issues. Which one? When you could go and a person. Which one? <laughs> when you could, because you could tell people. You, you know, you know, you know, Anne. Because the choice from the look, I can tell you, you came from a family that I had. We need to the talk rest of us. <laughs> you need to have more time because, you know, my mother was your fan, eh? But yes. she was one of those strict mothers. If as much as she Very. was treated, you do not know our story. Uh, the, the, the story of the, 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 the times, different story of survival. The, the, the different <laughs> story. So <laughs> that I agree. These times, mm. <laughs> it's, the time it's like the seasons. They are relating. Yeah. Yeah. It's a generation. We, I always tell people, it's a generation of um, up to four, four forty-nine to around seventy-nine. Around there, those people that grew around that time are the very last people to obey their parents. Mm. They're very fast to be controlled by their children. Mm. And the problem we are having today mm. now, we can Being almost controlled tell, by their children. Being controlled by That's their children. Yeah. Because it is us now yeah. Yeah. Uh, who were brought up by those parents, Bishop <laughs> Mark. You, you, and it is now us mm. who are now a problem to you our know, children. Anne, Why? I, 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 there, there was a couple. Mm. I don't remember the name, but they but I, I, the members of our church and I, I didn't see them in church for some time. Mm -hmm. So I, I called them mm -hmm. and I said, I have not seen you for, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And they, they told me, you know, we have a, we have a, a daughter and our daughter w went to a certain Sunday school and they liked that Sunday school so, mm -hmm. so very much. So when I say, we say, let's go to the house of bread, they, they, they didn't want to come. So we, we kind of moved. So I asked them, so you obeyed the instructions of your daughter? Mm -hmm. And they said, not really, but we, but we went. So I asked them, let tell me, now what are you going to do when your daughter goes to Form 1? Mm -hmm. And then she comes and tells you, I have found a boyfriend and I want to get married now. Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell her, okay, now you go marry, you get married, or are you going to escort her and say, mm -hmm. now my, our daughter wants to get married? Mm -hmm. But you know you have taught her mm -hmm. that she is the one who says mm -hmm. that you, act, you live by the decisions yes. that she makes. Mm -hmm. So we need to get to, to learn mm -hmm. how to say no yes. to our children. Mm -hmm. I normally tell our people, I, I read a book quite some times ago, mm -hmm. and it was, the title was How to Say No mm -hmm. Without Feeling Guilty. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was the most righteous book I've read. Mm -hmm. That when we need to teach our people, we need to learn mm -hmm. on how to say no. Yes. And to tell our children, no, you can't do that, mm -hmm. you will not do that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and no is not hating. It is the not other hating. thing is, it matters discipline. Mm -hmm. When you discipline your children, mm -hmm. let, let mama not interfere. Bishop, you're not doing it right. Mm -hmm. Even if she thinks you didn't do it right, mm -hmm. not in the presence of that child. Mm -hmm. Our young parents have that problem of feeling, ah, mm -hmm. So the child grows knowing that in the Mbaya, mm -hmm. Mama na mzuri. I can mm -hmm. always run to mom. Mm -hmm. Let it be, there's a rule in the house where mommy says, Daddy, com daddy compliments. Mm -hmm. Even if there was a mistake, we will look at it mm -hmm. and we will look at whether we offended the child, both of us, mm -hmm. but not one of us feeling a sin. And also to know mm -hmm. that these children mm -hmm. are not thick in the head. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are very wise. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, will, you will discover that when a kid wants to do something, they will go and ask mommy, mommy, can I do this? Mm -hmm. And mommy will say no. The kid will leave mommy and go to daddy. Mm -hmm. Daddy, can I do this? Then daddy says yes. yes. So when mama comes, daddy, said, ma, daddy said I do it. Mm -hmm. So you end up quarreling because you did not, you did not consult mm -hmm. or you did not make a plan from the beginning. Yes. That for you to, for, oh, so that when the kid comes to me, can I, I do this, the first you need to ask, have you asked your mother? Mm -hmm. What did mommy say? Mm -hmm. Mommy said no. Okay, if mommy said no, it is no. If and again, said not to no. go to the extremes. Mm -hmm. Because again, there is an extreme like the one we grew up with. Mm -hmm. You see, like us, parents were never questioned. Mm -hmm. Whatever they said was the gospel truth. Mm -hmm. They tell you they bought you from a, from a shop. 
That is final. You yeah. don't ask them which shop. Mm -hmm. You see children today, you don't tell them those nonsense. No. They can't buy those stories. Mm -hmm. They want you to reason with them. If the children are bought mm -hmm. from which shop, mm -hmm. which supermarket, I've not seen them there every time I go. Mm -hmm. So let's not try to make our children go the way we grew. Yeah. As we never used to question. Mm -hmm. Question who? Mm -hmm. it, when it when they said to go to sleep, you sleep. Mm -hmm. Go out, you went. Mm -hmm. They looked at you in the eyes and you knew what the eye meant. Mm -hmm. So don't expect them to do that today. Mm -hmm. They your macho out of Angaria and they will ask you, Daddy, your macho con guanja. <laughs> they don't understand what we're trying to tell them. They want you to speak up. Uh, and this is what now this lady is trying to tell us. What? That the, let's not try to make our children mm. become of our generation. Bishop, I'm sure because I know you are father of our adults. Mm. I, I, I know, I know they must have, even if you've not told me, I know at some point mm -hmm. they may have told you, Dad, you don't understand. Oh, sure they did. <laughs> when, you, when you look at them, you are like, I gave birth to you, I brought you all this long, now that you are grown up, now I don't understand. And they really want to say, that was your time, Dad, this is our time. Mm -hmm. And you are almost like, you don't even know I'm a bishop. You know to them you are not a bishop. Mm. This is where most parents are making mistakes. Mm. You want to go and bishop for your children. They mm. don't want. Mm. Go bishop the deliverance church. Mm. So when you come home, come wife, mm. her father them. Uh. You are a manager, don't come manage children. Uh. This is not an institution. It's a family institution, yes. Mm. But you don't come with your ideas of the, your institution. Mm. Come bring them here. Like now the way you are talking, we are talking here. Mm. Now you can imagine bishop sitting with Pastor Joyce in the, at home, mm. sitting in this format mm. nasuti and talking to her the things we are talking no you look crazy yeah because to her now when you are home is the hair shy yeah there am I. You know, mm. those, those mm. now husband business. Yeah. Our parents are making mistakes of trying to make children mm. be them. You want your children to behave like a bishop. Mm. They are not. It is you who is the bishop. Make them love God. Mm. Help them understand God. Mm. But don't make them bishops because they are not. And mm. some of them will never even want to be. Mm. They would want to be other things. Mm. So if they choose to be other things, allow them to be. I have had issues now on my phone every day I get of children who want to be DJs. Mm. Parents of our generation know that being a DJ is being evil. Yeah. Because you go to nightclubs. Yeah. Now mm. So our attack is of it too. So mm. they are like, oh DJ, go my seal. Now Basaria date. I'd rather die. They don't make their children as times have changed. These are changing. Mm. Let them be. Mm. Mm. Pastor well, Joyce, I, I, what yeah. is the other comment? You know, that's why Bonface yes. is saying that the trend is getting very bad. And we are losing a whole generation and you're saying we need to act yes we need to tell bishop mark and the rest of the bishop and yes. pastors in matters heaven everybody has made a choice they want to go to heaven bishop the problem is here <laughs> we've had you preach about heaven for many years you know you know, and we are decided we want to go. you know jesus said i am the way <laughs> the truth and the life <laughs> so the way to heaven is one uh -huh. that is jesus uh -huh. once you have gotten that uh -huh. jesus also said uh -huh. in john 17 uh -huh. father i thank you for these ones whom you have given to me uh -huh. they are not of the world uh -huh. the world hates them uh -huh. they will be persecuted uh -huh. but don't take them to heaven uh -huh. let them stay here yes. let them stay here uh -huh. in other words jesus wants us to stay here so the issue of talking about here mm -hmm. is very crucial. Yes. And that is the gospel. Yes. We have got to talk about here. Mm -hmm. Because heaven is guaranteed yes. once you get into the, into the way. Mm -hmm. So how do we live here? How do our men mm -hmm. become men like you? Mm -hmm. Who mentored you people mm -hmm. and your generation? Mm -hmm. To become men that when, when you surround Joyce, mm -hmm. she feels... Mm -hmm. It is a man that mm -hmm. is protecting this womanhood. Mm -hmm. Why is it now our girls are feeling so insecure? Because the man in the house, the mm -hmm. girl is wondering, mm -hmm. so who is the husband here? <laughs> so, we are, so what we are asking, this is why I always tell people, mm -hmm. you have the answer. Mm -hmm. Keep writing to us. Mm -hmm. Keep writing to one accord and mm -hmm. ask, uh, tell them, give us uh, your opinion. Mm -hmm. What do you think is happening out there? Mm -hmm. Bishop Mark, how did you people become men? Where did you sleep? Mm -hmm. that the boys who are coming now after you. Mm -hmm. Anytime, Bishop, I don't know whether I mentioned this last time, anytime you go to a funeral, you go to an odoni, you go to a wedding and get there late, mm -hmm. you'll be shocked. 
our men stay outside the fence, mm -hmm. doing what nobody knows, mm -hmm. even at the funeral. So when you go home with Pastor Joyce, she's telling you, oh, did you hear what Bishop Mark preached? Mm -hmm. You have no idea, mm -hmm. because where we go up a gate. Mm -hmm. So how did it end up that our men withdrew and they left? And where did you people miss the step and left them? Mm -hmm. Because it's like, after you, you now, you're not looking back. Mm -hmm. And it's like, who are we living? Mm -hmm. Even in the church, you almost are looking and wondering, mm -hmm. who is our next bishop? Mm -hmm. Because then you are asking ourselves, are we really mentoring people? In, a, in, in matters of women, mm -hmm. women are. Because when, uh, like now, Pastor Joyce will look at women and see, this lady needs to be, uh, to be our next chairperson of the women. Mm -hmm. And you know when women sit, like now if we sit here and we want women to serve us, and somebody comes and says, to pay any chai, you know what women will always say? Our do our dog, when they will get a chai, the senior ones will want to sit. Mm -hmm. You know what men do? Mm -hmm. And this tells you now men don't give a mantle. Mm -hmm. They want to remain there. Even in the churches, they want to remain there. Nobody wants to mentor what is going to happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So in our institutions, in our churches, in our homes, our men are there. They are not handing over. Mm. Even responsibility, even assets. Mm. You don't realize when to let go. Mm. So Bishop, when you are gone tomorrow, mm. your children don't know what to do. Mm. So everybody will be wondering, hey, yeah. see, Baba ya on the natuambia. Mm. So it's like our men are losing on a step. Mm. We do not have an answer. Keep telling us what you think. Where did mm. we go wrong? Mm. Where did the generation of, we started failing from your generation. Mm. The generation now, the fathers now, who are the, the getting the senior fathers now? You, mm. us, after us, and mm. I think another one. Mm. So we are losing almost a whole generation. Mm. So is there a way of recovery, Bishop? Is, uh, as you look back, are you seeing where we've, we have the started beating. I, I think we have a, we have we have a major problem mm -hmm. in fatherhood. Mm -hmm. In 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 fatherhood, that uh, if you don't if, if you are not fathered, it becomes very difficult to father mm -hmm. because you have no example to to follow. Mm -hmm. So we need to turn the table around mm -hmm. or the tide. Mm -hmm. We need to turn the tide around yes. and ask ourselves, how was I fathered? Yes. And how do I father my children? Mm -hmm. I've, I've watched my, 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 my sons, mm -hmm. and I've watched them bring their, their kids up, mm -hmm. and I have seen myself mm -hmm. in them. Mm -hmm. I've seen myself in them. Yes. At times I will be far and I will listen to what uh, he's, to, he's, telling, he's, telling, he's telling the son, mm -hmm. or what he's doing, or, mm -hmm. or telling the daughters, mm -hmm. and I will say, okay, okay, that is real me. Mm -hmm. I will see myself. Mm -hmm. And even in the church, mm -hmm. even in the church, yes. we have so many pa pa pastors mm -hmm. who just sprang up. Mm -hmm. They were never fathered. Yes. But they just sprang up, broke up, mm -hmm. and started a church. Yes. Now, they are supposed to be fathering. Mm -hmm. But they were never fathered. Yes. Because they rebelled. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got to come to a time yes. when now the spirit of the, the of, uh, when fatherhood has got to be mm -hmm. turned around mm -hmm. so that the hearts of the father goes to the son and the hearts of the son goes to the goes to the to the nini to the father mm -hmm. that is going to be the beginning mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you, we have open talk yes. i said from the beginning yes. you talk or i talk or we hear one another <laughs> so in mm -hmm. bringing information mm -hmm. bringing information mm -hmm. because you see there are people who don't succeed or who fail because they did not receive any information yes. mm -hmm. but once somebody receives information mm -hmm. then they have a choice to say okay now we want to we want to i'm going to change mm -hmm. but somebody has got to rise up and say this is wrong mm -hmm. we are not on the right direction mm -hmm. and that's what we are doing yes and, and bishop would also want to touch on a very sensitive ground that uh, is never really touched in this country because sometimes it can get bad because it's very sensitive. Mm. Sensitive in the sense, it we have uh, we have we have uh, when we were growing up, we were told our family is made up of a mother, a father, and children. Mm. That's a family. Mm. But then you realized with time, we have a family that is of a mother and children. Mm. There is no father. Mm. It's a complete family mm. because for one reason or the other, there is no girl who grows up imagining she will be single. Every other girl grows up imagining one day I'll get married, I will have my children, and I will be okay. Mm -hmm. But something somewhere on the way happens, and some women have found themselves single. Mm -hmm. 
mm. and mother to boys. Mm. You can never make a boy become a, ma a, a boy become a man, mm. but you can make a girl become a woman. Mm. We have very many responsible single mothers, mm. very many, I can say this and I'm sure Bishop you can attest to that, mm. you've seen them in the church. Mm. Very many faithful single women who have brought up very strong women mm. and even very strong boys. So mm. we're asking ourselves, and the other day I did some interview with the two men mm. and I was asking them, who fathered you? Mm. Now that there was no mother around mm. and you cannot tell me your mother made you a man because mm. she was not one. Mm. And this is why I'm able to connect with you because many times I try to connect with men mm. to find out where the problem is. Mm. A few men feel like there is no problem. Mm. That issue of feeling we are lacking the fatherhood is mm. what is becoming a problem. Mm. But those men uh, told me, or uh, they actually are there, they, they, they're very prominent men who told me they never saw a father in their mm. homes. Mm. But as they were growing up, their mothers were connecting them with men of value. Mm -hmm. Like um, your mother would, would make you befriend an uncle who exactly. is uh, who looks morally upright mm -hmm. and uh, your mother would push you to befriend that uncle. Mm -hmm. Your mother would push you to befriend that friend. Mm -hmm. Your mother would push, their mother would push them to befriend even that bishop mm -hmm. who, who will behave man mm -hmm. and the boy will come home feeling a man because mm -hmm. he was talking to the bishop and he realized with authority and power. Mm. They don't just sit like women. Mm. So the cowboy comes talking in a different tone, behaving differently. Um, but we have reached, we had reached a time when uh, women realized men have withdrawn. Mm. And women, women don't love seeing unoccupied seats. Mm. Women will sit and sit properly. Mm. And this is the problem we are having now. Mm. Because when men left their seats, mm. women occupied them properly. We realized that even in our community, mm. now of the Mount Kenya, mm. we reached a time of uh, this they call the passage, of right, rites of passage. Mm. Uh, women started getting involved. Mm. And I imagine we really fought a big battle of telling women to withdraw from that program mm. because it does not involve them. Mm. Even if you don't have a husband, you mm. don't trust your brothers, you have friends. Mm. You can trust a man mm. to go and train your boy. Mm. So what we are trying to say is exactly now what you're saying, that um, we can still get that value even when it looks very difficult. Mm. Like we have a single mother there who is watching us uh, and wondering, now I have young boys and I am wondering, how do they become men? Mm. How do they become men? You keep telling them they are different from you. Mm. Tell them you are men. Mm. Me and your sisters, we are women. Mm. You, you are men. And mm. men, you, all, you already know. The fact that you are not married does not mean you don't know how a man is supposed to behave. Mm. Be responsible. Be that man who can speak for us. Be our security. Father, you are sisters. Mm. You know, you have mentioned mm -hmm. about the rite of passage. Yes. And uh, I think there is an assumption that came in mm. that uh, the rite of passage is just cutting off the foreskin. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Yes. That I've taken my boy, mm -hmm. the foreskin has been cut, yes. now he is a man. Yes. But they, for, they don't know the process yes. that, went, that went on through. Yes. Because that was a, a period of training. Mm -hmm. that, was, that is when the, the boy was turned into a man. Yes by the information that he was given, by the lessons he was taught mm -hmm. at that time, yes. when he was at his lowest completely. Yes. But now when we started, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, 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 to bring in controversy, mm -hmm. but when we started going to, going to the hospital mm -hmm. and we, we take our boys there very early, mm -hmm. there is no information that it is given. It lost meaning. It, 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 lo it lost meaning completely mm -hmm. and it was just left to on the cut. Yes. But it's not actually the cut. Mm -hmm. It is the education, that mm -hmm. the process of education that takes place mm -hmm. and that is what is lacking mm -hmm. so we need to reintroduce this education yes. not not the, not the way not the way some of us are doing mm -hmm. that uh, taking people to the god of Kirinyaga. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I think that is another another problem that we need to deal with mm -hmm. about taking people to the god of Kirinyaga mm -hmm. and the, to, the, to the traditions I of our forefathers. Mm -hmm. and they are looking for a place to hide. Oh, is, is that, yes, is that hide? The, the world has become too threatening <laughs> for, for women. Hey. So when they meet on Saturday, I do die. <laughs> and you feel a man. <laughs> 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 and you go and find mama there. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I think we need to bring it out. That yes. is, it's not a feeling. There has got to be uh, that information, that education, education that is that is going on. There is so much that we need to we need to talk on this. But let's yeah. let's keep going, yes. baby. What is what is the what was the next person? You know, when you're talking mentoring mm -hmm. and fatherhood. Uh, that is, and, and I'm sure our viewers were feeling the same because Purity was is saying that the mm -hmm. boy-child problem has nothing to do with women's empowerment. Yes. Mm. And actually, there is somebody also who had made a comment and said uh, that uh, you know when women see those gaps mm -hmm. and will get that comment. When women see the gaps, they mm -hmm. feel them. Yes. But they are saying the problem is not with women empowerment. Mm -hmm. And I think you're bringing it out clearly yes. when you talk about the lack of mentorship. Mm -hmm and the lack of fatherhood yes. to these boys. Mm -hmm. So let women be empowered yes. and let the men be mentored. And the boy grew yeah. knowing yes. that an empowered woman is not a threat, mm -hmm. is, is an asset in your family. Mm -hmm. That empowered woman, you see our boys, our, um, when the men of Bishop's generation were growing up, they knew the woman's business was to sit in the house and wait for the man to bring. Mm -hmm. So when we all went out to look for money, mm -hmm. nobody sat our men down and told them, now things have changed, uh, took them to a college, sit them there, tell them now you're going mm -hmm. to be seeing your women also going out, mm -hmm. coming back. Nobody told them. It just happened. Mm -hmm. Now that it just happened because of the, of the growth of life and the expansion of everything in the world, our, our men were like they got a catch a shock or something mm. like women suddenly have gone and they can't handle the empowered woman mm. so what we are saying is let our boys grow knowing that when a woman is enlightened the girl is enlightened we are both empowered that makes our life easier mm. but we are coming in a culture where women uh, like now i would still want to talk to the to the women in the house be you single be you a widow be you married be you divorced, a mother is a mother. Mm -hmm. So you tell your children as they are growing up, my daughter, although me pio, so you don't understand Kikuyu, so me kabisa, make sure you get all the papers that will qualify you to be that strong woman. Usikuwe na mwana umiata moja atakusumbua, ori hafa kuwa thuburete. You know the way your father has troubled me, I don't want any man <laughs> to step on you, the way your father has done to me. But this mother forgets to tell the son, my son, Man up. Be that strong man who protects the wife, mm -hmm. who takes care of your wife. Mm -hmm. Never mistreat your wife mm -hmm. the way you've seen your father do to me. Mm -hmm. You don't get that bad thing you have seen, mm -hmm. the boy picking in the family, mm -hmm. the boy picking in the community. Mm -hmm. Because also as a mother, the Bible is saying, my son, in the book of Proverbs, my son never forgets your father's instructions. And we said that last time. Mm -hmm. And your mother's teaching. Mm -hmm. So what does this say? Your mother's teaching. Mothers is not about a mother who is married. Mm -hmm. It is about all mothers. Mm -hmm. Be you single for whatever reason, you are a mother. Mm -hmm. Be you a widow, be you a, even a divorcee. Mm -hmm. Because today, Bishop, we, 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 we have come to a time where we cannot tell women to stick in to some marriages. Mm -hmm. I, I know to you, because the Bible does not say anything about divorce, mm. uh, to you, uh, you, you, you reach a point and you let them decide. Mm. But you see, for, for us who are in the, in the world here, we will tell them, now this one, ah, because this thing doesn't look like it's going to work. Mm. Bishop, I know you've not gotten what I've said, but my audience are getting it. It's a language out there. <laughs> It's a language out there. Your audience will tell you what it is about. I'm sure you enjoy it. I've missed it. People who speak English don't know the language you speak out there. So you see, now it's like you are in a marriage, it didn't work. Mm. Possibly this man threatened you to a point of death. Mm. Although I always tell women, work it right. Mm. Because if you divorce, make sure when you look back 20 years later, mm. you will have no regrets. You mm. will say it was a wise decision. Mm. So if it didn't work because you lived with a hostile man mm. and you decided to walk out, mm. how do you get this hostility out of your children? Mm. Because this is what they know. Mm. Though the boy will get married and the cycle continues. Mm. So I always tell women, Make sure you take these boys to the church. Mm -hmm. Go tell the bishop, Bishop, I want you to rebuke mm -hmm. this spirit in these boys. Mm -hmm. Because I would not want their wives to go through what I went through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you give a sacrifice, not see for free. You give a sacrifice not to the bishop, mm -hmm. to God. You give a sacrifice to God that God, I want to rebuke this spirit. Mm -hmm. But you see what most mothers say? Who you two shatani ya konao ni kama baba yake? It is, you know the father was crazy <laughs> and you are like you are stamping. Uh, so I yeah. tell mothers there, 
Mm. You walked out of that relationship because it won't work. Mm. But you left with the blood of this same person. Mm. So you may have gotten the same spirit. Mm. So go to church. You don't have to go on a Sunday or even go and show anybody. Mm. Just call your pastor. Call your bishop. Mm. Tell him I want to come on Wednesday. Mm. I don't want to come on Sunday. Mm. Go on Wednesday. Mm. Bishop, I want you to get to the altar. Mm. I will come there. Mm. I will kneel at the altar. Mm. I want my children delivered. Mm. From what? Mm. From the spirit that is in the family of their father. Mm. I want them to grow now as my children. Mm. In I, as I, much I, as they I think grow. the issue of uh, transference of yes. spirits mm. is mm. something which has not been taught. Yes. I don't want to, I would not want to get into it yes, right now. But there is, there is the transference of spirits. Yes. And you find when you speak, when you relate with the people, there is something that is being transferred into mm -hmm. the into the people mm -hmm. and that is something that we need to look to look at mm -hmm. but i was thinking about uh, women empowerment yes. that uh the the, the 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 problem what was that that she said or who the said the boy child problem is not with the, the boy child problem has nothing to do with, with women's, women's empowerment, empowerment. Mm. I, I i think it is important if we can mention here and both to the men mm -hmm. and the women that when we talk of women empowerment mm -hmm. it does not mean competition yes because i think that's where the problem is yes. where where they, they feel uh because i'm em I am empowered now i can compete with any man mm. what man can do a woman can do better a woman can so do better so such slogans are yes. what are intimidating men e exactly because what is this that what are we competing about mm. and i asked this the other time mm. what are we competing about mm. we complement one another exactly. we don't compete mm. because as i have told you Today, mm. we are burying COVID people. Mm. We call six men, eight men. The fantastic job they do at the grave, mm. not even 20 women will do, even yeah. 50, mm. will not be able to do the fantastic job done by eight boys at the, at the cemetery. Mm. So what are we trying to say? We are saying they will do better there. Mm. They will do better when Bishop, you ask them to come and lift all these things up here. They will do it perfectly. Mm. But wait until we get to the chick to the kitchen. I mm. almost say chicken. We get to the kitchen <laughs> and something has to be done. Mm. Men will marvel at how fast women can do what mm. they have done in three hours. Mm. So we are different. We are unique. Mm. Let's appreciate one another. Mm. I would also want to talk to, when we talk to women empowerment, mm -hmm. It's like men, and this I stand to be corrected by you, audience, not by the bishop. You, mm. audience, whether you agree with me or not, you need to write to us. Mm. But I feel it's like the ego of a man gets intimidated by a very strong woman. woman. Mm. Thus, this man requires like um, an assurance mm. from this woman. Mm. It is still well. Mm. I may be the president of Tanzania today, mm. and very people, very few people know who you are, mm. but you are still the man of my life. Mm. In as much as I am the, 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 the cabinet secretary, mm. when I come home, you are the man. I also mm. want our men to feel this, that um, that woman is a governor. Mm. So when you see her, she scares you. Mm. But when she sees me, I scare her. Mm. So don't you think I am stronger? I always mm. ask men, don't you think you are stronger? Mm. Because you are the man who controls this woman. Mm. Yet she controls maybe the whole country. Mm. She could be a governor of a whole county. Mm. She could be a senator of a whole county. She could be the MP of that constituency. But women need to be very sensitive in assuring the man that it is well. Mm. But that attitude of feeling, because men will always be threatened by an empowered woman bishop. Mm. For sure men will be threatened mm. by an empowered woman. Because uh, they have not understood yes. empowerment. Understand. If we can understand empowerment, yes. the woman un understands. Mm -hmm. My being empowered mm -hmm. does not remove my... God-given position, yes. and the man understands mm -hmm. by empowering my wife, mm -hmm. she does not remove me from my God-given yes. position. Mm -hmm. Once we can understand that, yes. it will work. Because I have a, I have some pastors mm -hmm. who are who are women, mm -hmm. ladies, yes. and I remember this one many years in Akuru. Mm -hmm. they, she, they, are, they, are still, they are now pastoring together with the husband. Mm -hmm. That time the husband was not born, mm -hmm. was not born again, mm -hmm. and he was a, he was a, he was an officer in the army. 
mm -hmm. captain, major, colonel mm -hmm. in, in the army. Yes. And any time they came together, she was given the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And she would say, she would say, well, uh, uh, my name is so-and-so, I'm born again, this is my husband, mm -hmm. and uh, he is so-and-so, and this, and this, and this, and this. But the husband would, and she would come, me here, I am the pastor. Mm -hmm. But when we go at home, yes. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a pastor, I am, wife. I am a wife. Mm -hmm. And the husband would come and affirm that, yes. and declare, this is my pastor. Mm -hmm. The husband would say, this is my pastor. Me, I'm a, me, I'm a member, but this is my pastor. Yes. But when we go home, mm -hmm. she is my wife. Yes. With that understanding, mm -hmm. then the empowerment will work very well. Yes. It will not bring any intimidation. Mm -hmm. But when we think empowerment is getting more money, mm -hmm. or empowerment is getting a, more power, a, a more power mm -hmm. or a higher title, mm -hmm. or a, a, a more prominence mm -hmm. in the society, mm -hmm. then we misunderstand the empowerment. Mm -hmm. yes. But we, if we t look at empowerment mm -hmm. is you getting to your rightful position, yes. uh, appreciating God in you. Yes. Then you will be able to honor others. Mm -hmm. So while we still uh, uh, look, go back to the men, mm -hmm. I think we also go back also to the woman yes. and under get the woman to understand empowerment, mm -hmm. get the man to understand empowerment mm -hmm. and to see the responsibility mm -hmm. that God has given to us Mm -hmm. to bring us to bring up these kids mm -hmm. so, uh, so that they can come up mm -hmm. as a uh, as a unit mm -hmm. that is going to be profitable mm -hmm. to this nation yes and also bishop understanding mm -hmm. that uh, as much as we are unique we understand there's a book i was reading that was uh, entitled the joy of being a woman mm -hmm. If only women would know what God has put in them, mm -hmm. no woman would be fighting for equality. Mm -hmm. Because women are a power in themselves. Mm -hmm. Because right now, Bishop, you have eaten breakfast this morning, mm -hmm. you dressed, you came to work, mm -hmm. you came to the ministry or wherever you come, uh, and, uh, and to you that's it. You're going back home in the evening. Mm -hmm. But Mama here, in as much as she's sitting on TV, mm -hmm. she has another agenda mm -hmm. of what happens later mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. she, she controls that whole home. Mm -hmm. Right now, she knows what is happening mm -hmm. at your home. She knows if there's a very boiling here. You mm -hmm. have no clue. After you took breakfast, you dressed, you came, that was all. Mm -hmm. The next thing you will know is I am here. Uh, and sometimes you even go together home, and like you sit there, and the next two minutes, what is you go? Uh, and like you, you expect tea to grow from somewhere. <laughs> so women who understand life will understand a man. Mm. Will understand it's, it's ego, his ego is mm. what is making him want to feel like wapi chai. It makes him more man. Mm. He knows we have come together. He knows it might take time. But that voice of wapi chai na mekuja pamoja is making him more man. If a woman would understand that these American men are not buzungu, they are too complicated for this life for Muzungu. Then they don't like those issues of Muzungu. Women are just very fast. But our men are like fussy for nothing. Like you'd sit in the bedroom, uh, you go to the bedroom, you dress up, you finish. Pastor Joyce, you go to the kitchen, you're doing other things. And Bishop, now let me not call Bishop Mark. And Mark, because then I told me he's Mark, mm. is calling you Joyce. Come and get me my socks. And you know the socks are, are there. The wardrobe is there. Mm -hmm. He's seated here. You are in the kitchen. An African woman would know with all pleasure. Let me go get the socks because I don't want to spoil my mood. Mm -hmm. You go get the socks, give him. This generation of this crew, <laughs> your crew. <laughs> this, this crew is like, Hana <laughs> Mikono. You know, this is now where we are conflicting. They will say, is there anything wrong, wrong with your legs? Yeah, I mean, wait, wait. They even want to ask these girls. Mm. You know, it's like, you don't have to wear socks. But to us, or even with Mama Skov, who even wants to save the church. <laughs> she will say, let me go for the socks. And you see, they're just next to you. Give them to you and forget about it. Then we go to the sitting room, we get, we have breakfast, and then she, I'm now talking about a, a general home that has mm -hmm. no helpers. Yeah. Then she picks the cups, takes them to the kitchen. By the time she comes to put on her shoes to follow you, you're already hooting mm -hmm. at the gate. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's like, goodness, 
know what is this life of a woman mm. but then if you understand the joy of being a woman mm. you will enjoy doing all these things mm. and you will understand this man mm. now bishop it is you now to tell me and this viewer to mm. tell me what is wrong with these girls that they will not understand it could have been easier Mm. to get his socks and give him mm. and enjoy the whole of your day. Mm. Other than one, a small conflict on matter socks, mm. mess your day, mess the ministry, mm. conflict on something small, and the day becomes bad. But it's like these girls are like telling me, even now I know they are writing. It's not kupendelea. It is for the sake of your peace, other yeah. than just quarreling over nothing. Mm. Yeah, and you know, Pastor Anne, that's mm. why... <laughs> A lady pastor, actually Pastor Faith, yes. Ndongo would say that men's egos it's are delicate, delicate and ladies need to realize that. She can say that again. And we think that because a man is uh, strong, you yes. know, physically, he doesn't easily get hurt. That's yes. a woman mm -hmm. who's a minister yes. who is saying men's egos mm. are very delicate. Yes. And I think that speaks also now to the young Yes, they're the very young delicate girls. and yeah. you see... You see now why we have all these killings. It's, it's unfortunate that most of you could be watching us and have gone through the same. Of your daughters being like slaughtered like animals being killed. Why are we getting all this? Because the, the ego of a man has been weakened by whatever. Maybe by the wife, maybe by the family, by the society, by the government. You see like now when the politicians call for meetings at 11 in the morning. And there are so many young men, yeah. uh, and they are very rejoicing, they are celebrating them. These politicians need to know this is a time bomb that is waiting. Yeah. Because where do you get a whole 10,000 men at 11 in the morning? means they are jobless. Yeah. So with all their frustrations now, they come, and then there is this girl who does not realize their ego is very sensitive, and they go triggering it. Yeah. And you know, when we deal with matters anger, women will become emotional. They will cry, they will feel you have offended me, but men become physical. Mm -hmm. Men will sort it physically. There's a guy the other day who killed a girlfriend. Mm. And the girlfriend is 25 years. It's all over in the public domain. The girl is 25. She's already been married. The guy is married with five children. Those of you who watch news saw this guy telling the magistrate in court, Nifunge haraka, nianze kifungo changu, ni mini in this Kenya, last mm. week, ni mimi ni muwa, ni funge haraka, ni anze kifungo changu this year, this week. And you see, he's a father mm. of five and married. He's guilt a girl of 25 years. Before even the court proves him guilty, he's already telling the magistrate because the guy is bitter in him. Mm. He's very bitter. And you realize our boys is like they are missing on something. Mm. I don't know who told them that um, if you love a girl, she has to love back. Because now we are also in a problem of this boy loved this girl. When she refused, he killed him. Bishop Mark, when we were growing up, because I'm seeing a generation that comes out immediately after you, mm -hmm. uh, you remember people are saying, Ali Kukata, Asiyakai, Kwani ni wikumi na wabiri, Kama wafuwasi wa Yesu. You remember that was the talk. Yeah, yeah. Kwani they are 12, Kama yeah. wafuwasi wa Yesu. Mm -hmm. Move on and get another one. Mm -hmm. Atakuona, atashanga. Mm -hmm. Do you know what has happened to our men today? It is this one I want. Na kinikata, I will kill her. Mm. So, Bishop, you also need to tell us as a man, where are our boys getting that from? Mm. Must she love you because you love her? If she says no, the beautiful ones are not yet born. Mm. And even the more pretty ones you've not seen, mm. just go out there and you'll find them. Mm. And one day she will see you with that other good one. Mm. And she will know you got a better one. Mm. So, why go kill? Why fight these our news every day? Who killed who? For what reasons? Mm. Because now when you trigger this ego, this is where you have heard the pastor say, it is the man's ego is very delicate. Mm. People say women are weaker sex. But I always ask, weak on what? Mm. Women are only weak physically because men are stronger. Mm. But Bishop, I'm telling you insight. Mm. You, you've been married long enough. Mm. You can tell women are very strong inside. Mm. And even this part of women. They, they don't have porridge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have porridge. This part of women uh, is very smart. Uh, Those men who really accommodate their women and buy their ideas mm -hmm. and they listen to them. Mm. They grow. Even mm. in this ministry you have. Mm. If you choose to ignore her, mm. your chances of failing are very high. Mm. But that idea of telling you this, you know, you know she will even listen to gossips. Mm. She will hear what Moshena is out there. Mm. 
Mm. You no one will ever tell you. Can, can I so keep, you don't can, know can, how you are growing. Can, can I, can I, just, <laughs> just to add on that, mm. my first car mm. was a Renault 4. Mm -hmm. A Renault 4, that tiny little thing, mm -hmm. which we called the, we called the, 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 the rabbit. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to visiting a friend mm -hmm. one evening. Mm -hmm. And we, when we visited this uh, with, with my first Joyce. Mm -hmm. and, this, and, I, and this guy says, I think you need, you need a car. Mm -hmm. You need a car these days. Mm -hmm. And I said, I sure do, because I'm walking so much at uh, different places. Uh, then he says, there is a Mzugu who is selling a car, mm -hmm. uh, a Renault 4, and he's selling it for 18000 mm -hmm. I offered him fifteen, and he refused. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can call him. I said, yeah, give me the number. So I was given the number, and I was with Joyce. So we went home, and I said, uh, she said, why don't you call? I said, I said, no, this is late. It's already 10 in the night. I'll call him tomorrow. So by the time she is going to work, at that time she was working in Akuru, mm -hmm. she tells me, remember to call that, that Mzungu. I said, okay, I, I will call. So when she left, I said, well, after all, I don't even have the money. Why do I call him? So she came for lunch, and the first question was, did you call? Mm -hmm. I said, no, I, I, I will call in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, you call now. I said, no, I, said, no, I will call after you have gone. Mm -hmm. she, she, she said, give me the number, I will call. Now when she says, give me the number, I will call, that pricks my, my ego. So I said, okay, I, will, I, I just go to the phone. That's the one we used to go to dial. Trrr, trrr, trrr. I, I, call, I dialed this Mzungu. And I, I talked and I talked with him, told him about the car and all that. And he, he said, okay, can I see the car? And we said, yes. So by the time Joyce is going back to work, we are in the same matatu. Mm -hmm. She goes to the office mm -hmm. and I go to meet the, with the Mzungu. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, uh, the Mzungu brings in the car and mm -hmm. eventually I light the car. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you that story to mm -hmm. tell you yes. it was her mm -hmm. who actually pushed me into it. Yes. For me, mm -hmm. I looked at it and I said, I don't have the, I don't yeah, have the money. Yeah, women also have a sixth sense. They, mm. they'll, they'll push you into doing things. Mm. Even on this program, I, I would tell you, I, I, I talked to you, I met you on a different issue. We were talking a different issue. Yeah, yes. But when I was looking for you, mm -hmm. I went through her to mm -hmm. get how to get to you. Mm -hmm. Her, she realized, she sees my contents on social media. Yes. Which you didn't even know. I had no idea. Because you, you are international. You don't watch <laughs> those kiku things. <laughs> so her, she had a mother who talked about me uh. and she picked, there's a story. So she now comes and, and, and tells you, I'll make sure I invite this lady for my book launch. Mm. Then I come and speak, and Bishop is like, that lady could say something. In as much as I don't know, she could say something. In as much as you would not want to, to tell me, she may have compelled you, because men don't give credit. Yeah. She may have co compelled you to call me. Mm. Because you are the bishop, you are the man. Wamrather, I invited Wamrather, me, Bishop Mark. Women, <laughs> Joyce will take it. My husband is calling you because she's in that understanding. Mm. These same guys I'm talking. <laughs> they are they are our our case study. Yeah. These ones yeah. will want to be there, and as you speak, mm. she says. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they want to bring you down. Which man wants to be brought down by a woman? Mm -hmm. So what happens? You will fight back because you are a man. Mm -hmm. And you want to remain at the top. Mm -hmm. So Bishop, I'm asking, who will tell our people we are competing about nothing? Mm -hmm. When women do great things because we know women can do great things, mm -hmm. all honor and glory is to the husband. Mm -hmm. If you want peace, mm -hmm. let all honor and glory be to him. Mm -hmm. You bought this the deco or na chama. Let honor and glory be to the man. See you mwambi yake ati kama si chama. Ile akina grace. That I mean as you get mad. Men will not listen to that nonsense. Yeah. You brought it for the betterment of our home. Mm. Please give us a break. Mm. And everything and men will always say everything in this home belongs to me. Mm. You, your children, everything you have belongs to me. Mm. So even that chama belongs to me and everything else belongs to me. Mm. So women, in as much as you are empowered, that mm. is the assurance men are looking for. Mm. I, you I, are that strong woman, mm. but I am still, I am here, like me now, I am Anglican. I am here courtesy of Bishop Mark. Mm. But the deal goes behind the wife. Mm. 
but for the wife to still be strong, mm -hmm. it is my husband. Mm -hmm. I feel I, like our brother has something. I, I, I think that is very crucial. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and I would like to the, our, our, our audience to mm -hmm. really capture that. You mm -hmm. who is a couple, mm -hmm. that you would know in the house, mm -hmm. your wife is for you. Yes. Your husband is for you. Mm -hmm. So why do you want to fight one another? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to compete with one another? Mm -hmm. If you can hold on to that and you know this man thinks good about me. Mm -hmm. This woman thinks good about me. It is now, we have now made the un, unbeatable, yes. unbeatable team. That is where we want you to go. Mm -hmm. So you can capture this and know that you two make the unbeatable team. Mm -hmm. And we, as we continue, we want to see, we want to look from the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, the scriptures say, yes. if two of you shall agree on earth, mm -hmm. as, touching, uh, as touching anything, mm -hmm. Maybe we pause a little bit, then we can pick it from, from there, from that, 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 that scripture. Yes. If two of you shall agree on earth. Yes. Once again, my viewers, thank you. This is Bishop Mark Karaoke, your pastor and your friend for a long time, coming to you through open talk. You talk or I talk. We hear one another. We will see you again this coming Wednesday. May you have a super night. May you have a great time. And the Lord richly bless you. Amen. Amen.